Have you ever noticed this strange thing? You drink a bunch of water, you go to the bathroom, and you feel like you've just emptied out. Then an hour or two later, you suddenly have to pee again. A lot, not a little, even though you haven't had another sip. Where is that extra urine coming from? Did your bladder suddenly create water out of the thin air? Actually, no. And today I'm going to explain exactly what's going on in your body and when this happens, because it's not only fascinating, it's something that can help you hydrate smarter, protect your kidneys, and even reduce those annoying nighttime bathroom trips. So let's first start with the basics. When you drink water, it doesn't go straight from your mouth to your bladder. First, it passes through your stomach and intestines. That water has to be absorbed through your gut lining into your bloodstream. And this process just doesn't happen all at once. It's gradual. It's very gradual and slowly. That water then circulates through your blood vessels, nourishing your cells, flushing out your toxins, and eventually making its way to your kidneys, where it gets filtered out as urine. Now here's where most people get it wrong. Your kidneys can only filter so much fluid per hour. They're not a faucet. Think of them more like a slow, steady coffee filter. When you drink a large amount of water in a short time, like chugging 16 to 20 ounces all at once, which many of us do, only a portion of that can be filtered right away. So what happens? You go to the bathroom once, but the rest of that water is still inside your bloodstream or inside those fluid spaces around the cells. And over the next 30 to 90 minutes, your kidneys catch up. That's when the second wave hits. You haven't had more water, you're just finishing the job. And this is your body's version of a delayed download. That second trip to the bathroom is the water you've already drank. It just hasn't been fully processed yet. The more you drink at once, the more likely this to happen. And if you're wondering why this sometimes happens overnight, it's often because of when you drink. If you down a glass or two close to bedtime, let's say eight to 16 ounces, some of that fluid won't be fully filtered until you're already asleep, which is why your bladder wakes up at like two or 3 a.m. And then you have to go to the bathroom again. Now let's go a little deeper, not too complex, but enough to appreciate the science. Your kidneys filter blood through structures called glomeruli. And these tiny filters remove excessive water, salts, waste, which is then sent to the bladder as urine. But this filtration process is regulated by hormones like ADH. That stands for antidiuretic hormone, which tells your kidneys to conserve or release water depending upon your body's needs. So hydration isn't just about what you drink. It's about how your body decides to manage it. That's why two people can drink the same amount of water and have completely different bathroom patterns. And here's something else that's really important. When you chug water, especially quickly, your body may treat it like an excess and push it out faster, especially if it's lacking electrolytes. Hear me out. That's why sometimes you pee it all out and still feel thirsty. Your cells never got fully hydrated. The key is absorption, not just intake. So, what does it mean to add electrolytes to your water? It simply means including minerals like sodium, potassium, magnesium, or calcium, the things your cells need to actually hold onto that water. These minerals carry electrical charges and help pull water inside your cells instead of letting it just flush through you. If you drink a lot of plain water without these electrolytes, you can dilute your mineral balance and still feel dehydrated. That's why athletes and even everyday people sometimes add a pinch of sea salt to their water, a squeeze of maybe a little bit of lemon juice, or use an electrolyte powder. You don't need much. Just a pinch in an eight ounce glass can improve absorption significantly, reducing unnecessary urination and help you feel more energized as well. It's not about how much you drink all the time. It's about how much your body can actually use. So how do you use this knowledge? Here are some takeaways you can use today as well as every other day.
First, sip your water slowly throughout the day instead of chugging large amounts at once. Try drinking like four to eight ounces at a time. That's about a half a glass to a full glass. Spaced out every hour or two, that gives your body a better chance to absorb it and reduces that delayed urination cycle. Second, you want to consider adding electrolytes to your water, especially sodium and potassium to help that water stay inside your system instead of rushing right through you. And a pinch of sea salt and lemon in your water can definitely help you go a long way. And thirdly, stop drinking water at least one to two hours before bed if you want to reduce that nighttime or those nighttime trips to the bathroom. If you're thirsty late at night, then sip a few ounces, it's okay. But don't drink a full cup or two. Remember, even if you peed right before you sleep, your kidneys are still catching up earlier from that hydration that you drank. And lastly, recognize that urination isn't just about drinking, it's about timing, hormone signals, kidney function, and even how active you've been. So the next time you ask yourself, why am I still peeing even though I haven't had more water? Now you know, your body is working on a delay. It's catching up, it's balancing and protecting you. Hydration is a system and understanding it is one of the smartest things you can do for your energy your focus, and your long-term health. And remember this, it's not just what you put in your body, it's how your body uses it. Stay hydrated the smart way. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family. Yes, please leave your comments below. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.